So we're gradually entering into the summer season and everywhere is hot. You can't go outside without seeing, you know, the sun. The sun is so bright right now and it's going to be like this, I think, till September. Even though sometimes you kind of, because it's still early May, so sometimes you kind of experience rain and yeah, sometimes, sometimes the weather kind of cool, but in the afternoons it's usually hot okay since we step into me it's usually hot everywhere becomes extremely hot and this is not the highest we are going to see <laughs> because i what i'm saying this is because last year the weather was extremely hot and if you know uh rwanda very well it's very hard for you to see a house that has ACs or fan, especially if you're living in a furnished apartment, okay? So it's very hard for you, it's rare, but it's usually hard and this is one of the things I actually faced last year. So early this year, as we're just coming into, I think it was in April or March, I told my husband, you know what, we just have to buy this fan ourselves and just keep them for summer. In case when summer comes, we know that we are well equipped because sometimes even this hotness from outside comes into the house, like it's become very hot. Actually, during uh july august oh my god it's usually very hot so last year a rather friend, friend of mine told me that that's the highest they have ever experienced yeah i don't know but i had some nigeria who came in last year some some people that came for a conference in kigali and they were complaining that they're feeling cold and i keep wondering how are you feeling cold i'm feeling hot i think one that has spoiled me right because uh back home in nigeria we're used to the sunny weather the hotness and everything but since i came into rwanda i've always been feeling cold 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 so uh, having experienced the summer last year i was like okay this is a different shade of <laughs> hotness okay guys welcome back to the channel and it's so good to have you kigali mama here and thank you so much for clicking when you saw my video today i'm shooting from outside because it's very hot inside so if you're seeing my face for the first time welcome and welcome to the channel do well to subscribe to the channel and be part of the family so guys guys it's one year already since i came into rwanda and yeah so uh last year last year uh was in march last year yes march last year on the 19th of march i left nigeria to rwanda and i got into rwanda on the 20th of march 2023 and trust me it's been in fact a whole lot a whole lot it's been a whole lot okay so you all know i was in kenya i've been to other african countries that east african countries and coming to rwanda was one of those decisions i made when i traveled back home in nigeria it's not like i plan to come back to move to rwanda okay i didn't plan i actually wanted to go back to kenya because i love the whole vibe in kenya you have the nigerian vibe okay sort of uh i lived in mombasa so it didn't have all the nigerian vibe but at least getting nigerian food wasn't a problem and uh, settling also wasn't a problem because getting accommodation it was it was so easy super easy to get accommodation in mombasa for me because there are so many agencies and they have offices you can just walk into them and get an accommodation so one of the issues that people always experience when they travel abroad was getting accommodation but it wasn't my case because uh in two days i was able to get accommodation i only stayed in Airbnb for i think two or three days yeah so we didn't have sort issues but uh even when i wanted to move to another house okay i almost say ship to another house because that's what they, the word they use here in rwanda so even when i wanted to move to other another house uh i wanted to change location because when i came in i was using, living in motuapa if you know mombasa very well okay i lived in motuapa then i wanted to change from motuapa to somewhere very close to you know kind of town of Mombasa for me. <laughs> so I decided to move to Bamburi. Okay. So Bamburi was it for me because it was I had access to so many things. Okay, supermarket. Even though in Motopa that I love supermarket, so I had access to that. But uh Bamburi was easier for me because you just come out from your house, there's supermarket outside, there's just so many things for you to access, okay. Then the beach wasn't also very far. But in Motopa, I have to drive all the way from Motopa to 
uh, Bamburi or Nyali for you to experience the beach life. So Bamburi has their own beach, okay, and it's also not far to commute from Bamburi to Nyali. So I didn't have like a lot of issues because I always go to the beach like every other day, okay, at least four times in a week because my daughter will always wake you up and say, because she was two at the time, and she always say, mommy at the beach, mommy at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so when she said at the beach just know that it is time to go to the beach right so it was actually it's actually sunny kind of in mombasa but it wasn't so hot because the beach life was there so sometimes when we feel hot it was time to go and swim at the beach right and because i also work online as a social media manager for some brands uh it was so easy for me to work from anywhere and the beach was just the very perfect place for me to you know work from my daughter can be playing with the sand and i will be drinking or sipping some coconut water and also working on my laptop so it was super amazing for me so uh, I, I didn't want to live that life okay for anything in the world but being someone who really loved to explore other places i didn't want to stop okay so i had to when i went to nigeria okay for christmas i stayed for christmas then after the election i came back to uh i decided to travel to somewhere else <laughs> yeah i decided to try out somewhere else okay so my friend had come to rwanda and she said oh rwanda is so beautiful it's one of the cleanest, cleanest country in africa uh my husband has also been talking about rwanda rwanda he has all visited rwanda uh, some time ago okay so he has always talked about coming to rwanda and uh, one of the things i always check by before now okay one of the things i always check before moving to any country one was uh their cost of living and uh, uh their their economy so i decided to like you know you know what i didn't even have clients in kenya and i was still making money online right so i can actually work online even if i don't have like a rwandan business i have to work with or a, a brand in rwanda that i can work with i can actually work online for other brands because i already had like lots of brands i was working with at the time so i decided to pack my load <laughs> and i moved to kigali <laughs> so guys it's been one year i've been talking about this whole story for like seven minutes so it's been one year already and trust me it's been peace of mind for me okay it's been a lot of peace of mind now one of the things i love about rwanda security here is top notch i love the fact that uh, they're very much security conscious okay so you do not have to fear about anything uh, i sleep very well at night okay without fear of oh who is coming to cut see you guys i've been in an african country where I'm always scared at night because of the stories I've heard and I've seen someone witness that. Uh, I, I'm not going to mention names, but I know of uh, a friend of mine who slept in a particular country, okay? Before she woke up in the morning, her things were all gone. Yes, I live very close to this person in this country. And yes, it's not Kenya. <laughs> okay, so... Um, okay so after that incident happened to my friend she's also in nigeria and she had kids okay she woke up with a swollen eye because she was crying you know her problem wasn't that they stole her properties her problem was that uh her her what about her kids what if things maybe they have taken her kids and she was sleeping okay so apparently they started telling us stories about how they do this thing and how they're able to penetrate into people's house without your knowledge so but since i moved into rwanda it's been quite different because no story of such has happened okay i've not witnessed that i've not seen that so i kind of completely sleep very well at night sometimes when i feel hot i even walk outside my my compound like i can come back to my house by 12 12 midnight and i'm fine nothing is happening okay you can decide to take a walk i said last night i and my husband decided to take a walk around our neighborhood and trust me nobody was saying hey who ha you know so it's been super amazing so i've had peace of mind whenever i'm sleeping another thing i love about this place is the weather you guys so Kigali is cold, but Kigali is not as cold as every other district in Rwanda. I'm telling you the truth. So I visited other districts and trust me, it's the weather is top notch. Some of this where some of these places you have to go with your sweaters. You don't have to go just like that. You have to go with sweater. You have to go with hair warmer. I'm telling you, because it can be cold, especially early in the morning. It can be super super cold i'm telling you so i love the weather here i love how it makes my skin fresh okay uh <laughs> i love how i'm glowing i love 
yeah you don't you don't need i i have a friend who is randy okay and she told me that she only applied vaseline in her body and her skin is glowing and when i heard that i was like okay welcome to the club because i think we're in the same category because i i, I don't have a particular budget for my skincare no i don't and Rwanda has helped me to maintain that lifestyle. <laughs> I don't want to add more expenses to my life. I'm telling you, if you want to add to your, yours, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you're still someone who is searching for skincare routines, let me know in the comment. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I, I love the weather. I, everything, okay. Then, they have good roads. I also love the fact that uh, uh, there's, there's electricity, like, constant electricity in the country you in fact you guys constant electricity okay if your light goes up please go check if it's not your fault because maybe your meter is finished okay so just go check it but constant electricity for someone who works online like me you have constant electricity you have internet wi-fi like it's not so expensive to uh to get one that different uh network providers you have uh canal block bus you have mtn fiber you have uh you have just different I think Etal is also here, so you have so many of them. There is liquid. There's just a lot of them that you can decide to sign up for. Okay, so internet is not a problem. I am so loving this place. I think yesterday I talked. I I and my husband were just talking about it. And I'm like, it's when you're ready, like you guys, <laughs> and it's been amazing for every one of us. No one has said I don't like this. My daughter, have ha, she love her school. She love everything and everything the only issues i might i had initially when i came in was the language barrier because a lot of people do not speak english here some of them still speak their local language which is here in rwanda some people speak swahili some speak uh yeah french okay if you, if you speak french it's very easy for you to navigate but if you speak swahili also it's very easy for you to navigate but if you're like someone like me who does not know any other language than english please please it's not always easy but trust me you will definitely meet up and you find a way to navigate okay and which also i have been able to navigate in the past one year uh uh do i have any regrets no none none so far okay i do not have any regrets okay uh, i've loved it here i'm loving it here and i'll keep loving it here i don't know when i will get tired okay if i'm ever going to get tired i don't know when i'll I, w I would want to pack my load i and my family and say okay it's time to go to somewhere else but for now we're still here <laughs> for now we're still here but i will want to explore other places okay that is not just kigali i will want to live in other places like any other district and trust me when i do i'm going to tell you guys even if it's for a few months i would love to try it living in another uh, district that is not Kigali because most time when people reach out to me oh I want to live in Kigali oh I see there's no other district to live in aside Kigali Kigali can be quite expensive trust me okay mm, but it's a very beautiful place to stay but if you're on a budget I think you should also try other districts okay try other district there is different districts you can try you have Bugacera you have uh is it Bugesera? I think Bugesera, not Bugesera. <laughs> Bugesera, B-U-G-E-S-E-R-A. I think, yeah, Bugesera. Then you have, uh, you have, uh, and a lot of people actually moving to Bugesera district. It's a five developing city right now. People are moving there and people are looking, you know, people are buying houses and land and all that. The, I know a friend that just bought, that just acquired the land there. So it's actually a very beautiful place to stay. As well, they have the town, they have the, the village side of it so you decide they also have uh mosanze they have uh gisengi all of these places have their own lakes okay that you might want to you know go check out you might want to live close to the lake or you know just depends on what you want and trust me even these places are even colder than living in kigali and the cost of living there are not so high so you might want to consider that okay so yeah guys it's been one year and I'm loving it here and <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys maybe uh, after two years let's see if I'm sustained or not okay or if I am still loving it here or not I'll still let you guys know okay but now this is my one year review after staying here for one year with my family uh, 
I just tell you that this is a very beautiful place and very family friendly place for you to migrate to and stay with your family. If you're considering an African country to live in, maybe you might just consider Rwanda. <laughs> okay, I hope this video meets someone and inspires someone today. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, this is the best time for you to hit that subscribe button and be part of the family. See you guys. Bye.